Morning, we are getting ready for a new ride mm -hmm. in the East Valley. Yeah, that's right. Erin is live in Mesa where a new two mile stretch is opening. The first new train stop only about an hour away. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Yeah, we're celebrating the expansion of the Metro further into Mesa, but this is really about bridging communities, getting communities to basically be able people to basically be able to get throughout the community um, and to, for other opportunities and jobs. If you take a look out here, you can see several people have come out here, different vendors set up because this is really a celebration, like I said, of bridging communities and people together um, to offer more opportunities with more public transportation actually have the Mesa's mayor here mayor Giles he's gonna talk a little bit about what this day kind of means for the city so tell us people out here celebrating this expansion what does this really mean for the city of Mesa well it is a, a you, you picked the right word this is a celebration number one we're glad that the light rail construction is over so all of the businesses and, and folks that have been uh, living with that you know we're, we can that's a big party but reason enough but also we're excited about what is left behind which is this, this great system that we're a part of with Tempe and Phoenix uh, I was I remember being skeptical about light rail 20 years ago and I think a lot of us were but what what's proven to be true is it's been great as a transportation system there's a lot of Millennials a lot of seniors a lot of other folks that love to park their car and use light rail but it's also been very beneficial for communities like Mesa for economic redevelopment uh, for the 30 years prior to light rail coming to downtown Mesa, we didn't issue one residential building permit in downtown Mesa. Wow. Right now we have 1,200 units of, of residents coming in along the light rail route. Along with, we're bringing ASU, Mesa Art Center, uh, restaurants, uh, uh, people and activity are coming back to the, to the old downtown Mesa that I grew up in as a kid. So it's just a lot of fun to see this happening. And speaking of people, a lot of people out here kind of looking at everything kind of unfold. But why is it important to invest in this type of infrastructure in a city? Well, that you, 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 again, you said it exactly right. The role of government is to provide transportation infrastructure. And so several years ago, the voters in Maricopa County approved Prop 400 because we were tired of the traffic congestion. And so as a result of that, we've got great freeways, we've got more surface streets, but we also have transit, which means more bus lines, more light rail, because as, a, as our city continues to grow, we can't just keep adding lanes and lanes and lanes to our freeway system. We've got to find alternative ways to, to get around. And so light rail is an obvious answer for that. So it, it means less traffic, less congestion. We're going to be happier. We're going to have more time to, to be with our family instead of sitting in our cars on the freeways. Thank you, Mayor. We'll let you get on with the celebration again. Nobody likes traffic. Um, a great investment here for the city and a great opportunity for people to be able to just get to other parts of the valley without a problem, without having to jump in the car, just yeah. jump on the metro. I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. And without having to drive. Yes. You can just nice. sit there and text away and it's not a problem. <laughs> or get work done or take a nap. <laughs> or do your mascara. Text and ride. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Erin.